Ron Pelletier, Mike Trepanier. Match number two, the semifinals before we get to our championship match. Ron Pelletier having just derailed Stan Sink. The close 165-160 uh, win. That broke a winning streak of five in a row for Stan Sink. Good. Use the three pin. Ronnie would need to win this game and the next to, to get his first Pro Tour win once that star on his back. He says, I mean business. And waiting on top is Ron Pivo, the uh, top qualifier and the top seeded bowler here in our ladder final. But first, uh, let's take a look at Mike Trepanier out of North Haven, Connecticut. Mike had a good, good qualifying round. 12-24. Also then went Watch out. Okay, he went 5-0 in the head-to-head -head, uh, competition. 8-17 total pinfall. He won every game in the head-to-head -head competition. Yep. And there's his scores here. Had a 182 and a 195 to do it. 8-17. Beat some good people, too. Donnie Dove, Joe Rainier, Jeff Piles, Mike Steiner. Okay. Both Dark bowlers Spurs. starting out with a spare in the first frame. The loser here finishes third. Payoff, $660. Winner advances to the final to uh, face off against Ron Pavo. Guaranteed $1,100, so uh, quite a bit at stake here. Oh, well, we got a little bit of a break there. It leaves the 5-6. Very tough spare conversion, but not impossible. Well, it counts eight on his uh, mark. Yes! He's got it. Well, he said it wasn't impossible. He took the long way around to get it. But... Yeah, I take another look at this. I mean, in the last couple of weeks, we've seen this shot go twice. Yeah, he used the sideboard twice. Twice. Right off the right on and off the left. But it's another mark, two in a row for Mike Trepanier. It's a good way to start this game. Ronnie takes down nine. Leaves the six pin. Puts him at 19 in the first frame. Some interesting uh, and exciting matches uh, down the stretch. Uh, the last two weeks, not exceptionally high scoring, but certainly all very close, all coming down to the last frame or two before they're decided. No runaways. And the winner of this match will face Ron Pavo from Somerset, Massachusetts. Ronnie converting his spare in the second frame. Ron Pavo has been waiting a long time. Get on the lanes and exercise some of that uh, <laughs> nervous energy, I'm sure. Thought it'd be an interesting match. All three bowlers being from New England. And as you mentioned, Bobby, Mike Trepanier, the only one that has a uh, previous win to his credit on the Pro Tour. Three spears in a row for Ron Pelletier. Interesting that um, Ron jumps back after uh, Mike Trepanier had uh, earlier responded by putting two marks on the board. Ron jumps up and does, does the same. Okay, that gives Mike 42 through three frames. Ron is 48 plus a ball on the third frame. Okay, Mike Trepanier on lane number seven in the fourth frame. He's down six pins. Okay, he catches a break, leaves the one, two. Can pick up a mark here, get himself uh, back on track. Fourth frame. Okay. Got it. 
Here, one time. Ron Pelletier on lane number eight has three spears in a row. Chance to increase his lead with this ball here. And he does just that. Nice nine count. Stay on. Says, I own that pin. Okay, Ron Pelletier, 15 pin lead through four frames, shooting on a spare. And from about the middle of the last match till right through here, it, he's uh, really been on target, on track. He hasn't left many standing. He almost fell down that time. Did he steal? Oh, he just catches a break. Trepanier has got the mark in the fourth that he's working on with another mark and close the gap. Another Let's mark here do. puts him right back in the game. One more. There you go, Chucka. Hang on. Wait. Okay, we have a match. 9 to 10, 9 to 10. 84 to 71 plus this ball coming up. He can cut the lead to three pins with a strike here. Hey! He's got it. He did just that. Three pin game, and Tippenier has a strike in his half of the sixth. Another look at that. A little help from the sideboard. And now it's Ron Pelletier. He has a slim three-pin lead, and he's facing a strike in Mike's first half of the sixth. Push through. Like unfortunate. Okay. He almost left a two-three. Hasn't missed very much. No. Neither bowler has missed okay. a heck of a lot here. Mike has, uh, Ronnie has a three pin lead. Both bowlers having a mark up in the sixth box. Mike's advantage, he's got a strike. Counts twice. It's the first two balls, Ronnie counts the first ball. Basketball, but after that strike, he jumped high enough. It looked like he could play on any team. Crossed over again. Look at that. A lot of a lot of pins on the deck flying around looking for something to hit, and they finally found the eight pin and drove it in. And Mike Trepanier on a strike. Oh. Oh. Off the head pin. He's smiling. Yep. Got to get a little uh, lady luck once in a while. Right Just slipped by the head pin, but he got great action off the side walls. And those, those two, two pins, pins took out the other two. Right here, right here. They had eyes. So a double for Mike Trepanier. Mike Trepanier has now taken the lead. In the eighth frame. has a six pin lead now probably you can see how uh, fickle this game is off the head pin gets the strike buries it in the pocket leaves the a seven <laughs> so you gotta take what so you give the game interesting nope oh pin. Can't get a ball. mr short no, i don't keep it uh, close uh, gives ronnie a chance to regain the lead with a mark in the eighth frame yep now uh, ron pelletier with the strike Hey, Ronnie, yes, with a mock here, can regain the lead. All right. He had a 15-pin lead. Mike threw a double strike, took the lead away from him. 
Ronnie's got a chance to regain the lead here. Make up a match between these two. Any kind of a mark puts Ronnie back in the lead. Winner moves to the championship match. Coming up next. Well, he's looking for another one. He's not going to get it. I thought that pin was going to roll all the way back up to the approach. Okay. It's a big spear for Ronnie. Yep. Puts him back in the lead. If he misses it, he would be about, about six pins down. Crowd's really into the match now as they're no, they shouting yelling. and yelling on every ball. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, Ronnie needs six on this ball to regain the lead. What do you think poor Ron Pavo's feeling? He's down the other end warming up here and all this yelling and screaming. Actually, he needs five on this ball to regain the lead. Nice high-scoring game. It's been a terrific match up to this point. Oh. Okay, he gets seven. Yeah, he got uh, real fortunate, too, to get the seven. Not a good spare break, but he does regain the lead with that. Three-pin advantage, 141, 138 in the eighth. This one, this one Ron could make, because the way he crosses over, That's he right. catches the head pin. And okay. it's even hard. It's a little bit too full. Yep. It's an important pin here. He's only up three pins. Mike is coming up in the ninth box. Yeah. 150 to 9 frames for Ron Pelletier. Right, pick yourself up here. One time here. Wait here. Okay, Mike needs a spare or a strike in this frame to get the lead back. Time, kind of flipping the lead back and forth here. Yep. Nice, interesting match. Been back and forth for a number of frames now. Mike Trepadier on Laney. You're lucky. Come on, he didn't yeah. need to be lucky. How about that? Yeah. Right back on, right here, on the strike. Mike Trepanier from North Haven, Connecticut. Here's another look at it. Beautiful hit. He wants that strike ball. Yep, into the 10th frame we go. Mike will finish up, and then it'll be up to Ron to get up and One time shoot up. try to match whatever Mike posts on the scoreboard. Everyone's quiet now. Trip it here. Whoa! Ooh, still there, still there, come on. Still there, all the way here, still there. That's the advantage of working on a strike. No count. He really didn't lose anything on that ball. He's got a chance to still convert still a spare. Count, count big, though. Whoa, whoa! Howdy, okay, howdy, one more now. That gives him a six-pin lead. At least one of these. Okay, 164 from Mike Trepanier. Ron Pelletier needs any kind of a mark with five, five on it. Right All right, let's see what happens here. He needs the mark first. Ronnie needs a mark with five on it. Nice string from Mike Trepanier, 164. Heck of a game. Either, either one that loses this game should not be ashamed of what they've done. Both bowlers shooting in the 160s. Mark in a hurry. Okay, he needs he's got five two on counts. two balls. He's got two balls to get five. Mike Trepanier, is in. Mike Trepanier saying to himself, what did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong, Mike. 164. So the pins go down. What a time for a big strike. Okay, Ronnie needs five. Okay, Ronnie threw a strike in the last match. In the last box. Yep. To win the match. In frame, bowl again on the same pair, on the same lane, in the same pair. Lane number eight for the match. That's it. That's it. Match is over. And Ron Pelletier moves on to bowl Ron Pavo in the final round. Both bowlers Terrific shooting match. for their first star. Terrific match between uh, Ron Pelletier and Mike Trepanier. Okay, 169. 164. Pelletier over Trepanier. We'll be back with our championship match right after this.